Hi everyone. Today I'm doing an open collaboration that is hosted by Cooking with Anadi. And the collaboration is hashtag my cooking journal 2021. And what that contains is it is putting an Indian flair to your cooking or cooking an Indian dish. I'm going to be cooking slow cooker Indian lamb and butternut squash stew. What all goes into slow cooker Indian lamb and butternut squash stew? One tablespoon canola oil. I don't have any canola oil. I'm going to be using coconut oil. One tablespoon Madras curry powder. My store did not have that. I'll be using regular curry powder and add a little bit of cayenne pepper to that. Two pounds boneless lamb shoulder. And if they you can't find any lamb shoulder, you can use boneless leg of lamb. Again, my store had the shoulder. It's not boneless. And I, they only had two packs, so I don't have two pounds. They didn't have any non-seasoned leg of lamb. So we're just going to be short a little bit of meat. Three cups pre-chopped butternut squash. They didn't have any pre-cut, so I'm going to be having Dave cut up my big old squash here. One red onion, or approximately two cups. One 15 ounce can no salt added chickpeas, or garbanzo beans, drained and rinsed. This is not the no salt can, this is just regular. One half cup fresh mint leaves. One cup unsalted chicken stock. One tablespoon minced garlic. Two teaspoons salt. Two teaspoons grated fresh ginger. One can light coconut milk. And this is optional. Four cups hot cooked brown basmati rice. I'm just using brown rice. So let's get the show on the road. All right, so I usually do all my cutting and chopping off camera, but I want Cooking with Anadi to know how dedicated I am to this collaboration. So I'm actually gonna get Dave to chop that up into little cubes. All right, I'm gonna, uh, there's a couple of ways to cut this, and since this one's got a crook in it, I could, I could cut it lengthwise this way, but I think it's gonna be easier just to go ahead and chop it in half. They say you can put this in the microwave. You perforate it with a, a fork to let the pressure out. You microwave it for three minutes and it softens everything up. But since she's gonna uh, cook this later, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the ends of it off. These are pretty tough. I'm gonna use a nice sharp knife. It sounds tough, doesn't it? Instead of using a peeler, I'm actually going to use a fillet knife. The meat on this is actually pretty tender, but the, uh, the skin is very tough. Now that I got the outer skin off of here, I'm going to tidy it up a little bit with a conventional peeler. Okay, the seeds are in this end, so I'm going to cut this in half long ways. You want to be very careful with this. And you just scoop out the seeds it's almost like a pumpkin and I'm told you can roast those seeds although there's not a ton of them in there strangely enough this smells a bit like watermelon that's a bit more work than I had anticipated it would be to get that stuff out of there but it's out now now you can 
cut this you can quarter this or whatever you want to do I think I'm gonna do it this way today I've also heard that microwaving this for three minutes after you perforate the skin also makes this part a little bit more tender also. So depending on what you're going to do with it, you might want to throw this in the microwave. So when you're done, it might look kind of sort of almost something like this. Take your oil and heat it up. Once your oil is hot, add your lamb meat. And they say to do it in two bunches, but since I don't have as much as I'm supposed to, I'm just doing it in one batch. And then just brown it. Now you need to go check out Anati. He has a wonderful channel with lots of good food and a lot of um, interesting dishes um, from India. I'll put his link down below. After the lamb is browned, take a slotted spoon and transfer the meat to the slow cooker. And I wish I would have had the full amount of meat, but they sure didn't have anything when I went shopping the other day. So next, add the three cups of squash. And it only took Dave 27 minutes from start to finish. I do appreciate that because as hard as it was, I would have never been able to do that. The one red onion chopped. The one 15 ounce can of chickpeas or garbanzo beans drained and rinsed. One cup of unsalted chicken stock. The one tablespoon madras curry powder or in my case regular curry powder and cayenne pepper. One tablespoon of minced garlic two teaspoons salt, and two teaspoons grated fresh ginger. And then mix it until thoroughly mixed. That looks pretty good. Put your lid on. Turn it on low, and we'll cook this until the lamb is tender, about six and a half hours. So we'll see you then. Turn the crock pot up to high, give it a stir, and add the one cup of light coconut milk, and heat for 30 minutes, stirring occasionally. All right, so I just wanted to mention again that this is an open collaboration hosted by Cooking with a Naughty and the collaboration is hashtag my cooking journey 2021. Thanks again Anati for letting me participate and here is my slow cooker Indian lamb and butternut squash stew. I'll go ahead and let Dave do a taste test. Okay, what, what am I looking at? Slow cooker Indian lamb and butternut squash stew. Okay. 
Are these uh, chickpeas? Yes. Okay. Is that a bed of rice? It's all really well done. It's got a little bit of a kick to it. But everything is uh, the butternut squash. It's soft, the chickpeas are, are soft, and the lamb's really tender. Like it. Recipe deals for easy meals. Please like, subscribe, and share. This is Cooking with Sherry. Until we meet again.